Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I thought um, it would be nice to do another video of um, easy additions to an existing journal. So here's a journal I made some time ago and um, she is made uh, using, uh, following Nick the Booksmith's, uh, I think it was, gosh, I think it's called a specimen journal uh, on Teachable. So I made this a long time ago and then I used it, it's got a hollow back spine, and I've used it to um, just do some uh, art related journal pages. And I've done a couple of things. This is just a little uh, cone flower. Oh, and here I did, uh, I guess that's a Cosmos practicing with waterproof ink in fountain pen, which was kind of fun. Um, and I haven't used this again. I have a couple other journals, uh, art journals that I use. So I thought I would just do some extra additions to it. And eventually it'll just go in my shop. Hopefully people won't mind that it's got a couple of my, my uh, drawings and things in there. Um, so what I was thinking would be fun to do is I want to add an envelope a while since I've opened this. Uh, I want to add, an, uh, not an envelope, but a spot. Uh, the back of each page has a tuck spot there, but I want to add a spot where we could add like a um, one of those little envelopes that I like to do, or folios that I like to make. So I'm not explaining myself very well, but let me just let me just prep this and then we'll we'll go from there. So I'm just gonna put my scissors there. And I'm going to take my cutter, move that a little bit out of the way. And I think what I'll do is I'll cut these about four and a quarter wide, like that. Uh, and I just want a little, like, ephemera spot. Uh, and then four and a quarter. With this one, too. Make sure it's up there nice and straight. Four and a quarter. Okay. So the other thing I want to do, because I think I want to use one of these, is I want that to be four and a quarter as well. So, and then we'll, we'll see how that all comes together. But this is a, you know how I like a comfort envelope. So we'll hold on to that for now. And so I want to use three of these, and my thought is, if we made, uh, folded them in half, and then, I think I just need three, I don't need all four. And um, then we'll have, we'll make like the little accordion, that's the word I'm trying to think of, accordion. This has been so long that it's been closed that it doesn't want to lay flat very much anymore. So we'll set it down like that. Um, and let's just glue these together and see how this comes. So this is me adding an accordion envelope to an existing journal. So I feel like this should be fairly uh, easy to put together, but we'll see. So we're just going to do the accordion part first. Like I said, I'm going to use three pieces of this paper. And I could have made it longer if I wanted. But I think this will do the trick. And then the third one, I'll move this out of the way as well. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying this adding things to an existing journal. Um, of course these are all elements that you could do ahead of time before you finish a journal and go at it that way as well. It's just totally up up to you. So we're going to do the same thing that we've done when we've made accordion envelopes before. I'm just going to go in the middle and I don't want to use more than you know not even a third of the real estate to to do that. Um, there we go. Oh, I love that. I want to make sure I have um, 
a nice bit of uh, coffee staining on the front one. And I quite like this, the coffee staining on this one. There's the opening. Gosh, I hope I have the opening right on both of these. I think I do. All right, so like I said, you don't want to use more than a third uh, and not quite a third. That's the way I try and um, measure it. And that's the opening. Set them together like so. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is I want to make this so that it's going to come over the top. So I'm just going to take that. That's the width. I think I want it to come down fairly far on the front. Uh, and I want it to have a bit of space at the back so that it's easy to get things in and out of this. So I'm just going to go like that. And yeah, we have like at least an inch showing. That's going to work out really well, really well. So let me see. This may end up being a very quick video. Oh, there are my scissors right there. So I'm just going to very quickly cut that like so. Let me see. Yeah. Just getting that angle right is just my challenge at the moment. So I'm going to do that. Like that. Okay. Out in the garbage. Now, do I have, I do. I've got another of these little notch um, whale's tails uh, tabs. And I'm just going to glue that on there. Like that. And I'm going to set this in the center or thereabouts, attempt to get it in the center, like that. Excellent. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I don't need all of this, and so I can use this paper for something else at some point. I think I want to put I think I want to put a uh, little hole there and put a little eyelet in. So I just like the looks of that. I think it would be nice. And here we go. We'll set that in like so. And set it with my crocodile. All right, perfect. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. Bring this down here, and I want to add this first to the page. So I'm going to take this and just glue it like so, all over, and I'm using our glitter glue. I think a glue stick might not be strong enough for this application. but. Um, and I'm just going to set that, I think my polka dots are pretty straight, so I'm just going to set that there in the middle. It looks kind of cool just as it is. So I'm setting that in the middle, glued down nicely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bit that we've already done, and I'm just going to attach it on here, like so. And I'm just going to we want it to be able to come out really well. So I'm not going to attach it in its entirety. I'm just going to do that one third kind of rule. Not quite one third or there votes one third, maybe for the back, just to make sure it's on there good. So we're going to take that and I'm going to set that so that it is just manipulated a little bit so that this covers it up like that. And the reason I wanted this to be long would be so that it would just stay down um, really nicely. So we're gonna let that 
I let that um, glue dry. And in the meantime, what I was thinking, and I'm going to just put my needle back in my glue. I was thinking it might be fun. Oh, I've got some, I've got some labels in here. Um, sorry, I've got some butterflies. I think those are Tim Holtz. Pull some of this stuff out. They're fun. Got this, and I think I have. Aha! That's what I wanted. I wanted one of these uh, Tim Holtz um, numbers because I think that would be fun to have that just kind of dangle down. And what do I want to use for that? Hmm. I think I have some floss here. Let me see. I don't have any jute handy. That was a problem in my last uh, video where I was doing an addition, but this will be good. This is just some DMC floss. I'm using all six strands uh, and I'm just going to go down like so through the, through the hole and then through the center like that. All right. So now I'm going to just going to dampen that a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to get through the um, This is going to be fun. <laughs> I always like to challenge myself. This isn't the sort of thing I like to challenge myself with, if I'm honest. Um, but there you go. See how much of that I can get through. Can I get both of them through? I can. Yay! Okay, so we've got that through. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it um, like so. And I don't mind if it comes out the bottom a little bit. So we can tighten it up a little bit there. And I'm going to, whoops, tie it one more time through there. Oh, we don't have to, oh my gosh, this was fast. This was fast. So that's going to go like that. I'm going to cut this off like so. And that is how quick it is to add a little envelope our little uh, accordion envelope and then we can see how it works like that and then we can put various things in it. I think that's super cute. So we could do a little could do a little zhuzhin if we wanted. This butterfly is kind of cute because it um, it just goes with all of the yellow that we're seeing here. Uh, let's see. Do we want to have like over on the side? I think so. Let's do it. I thought I was finished with the glue on this project, but I guess I'm not. So I'll set this up here. Maybe there. Like that. And then we'll have that there on the corner. I like it. And then I think we'll put just another little label on. This will be a quick video. I hope you don't mind. But it's, that's how fast it is to add this little accordion envelope. Like, crazy fast. Like that. And then I think putting this over here might look really, really nice. Okay. Wow. I did not think it was going to be that quick. I'd, didn't do a prototype this time. I thought, I felt confident. <laughs> um, sometimes that's my first mistake, feeling confident. But quite frankly, I have to say, as an artist, if you approach things with confidence, then um, I just find you just, I don't know, they seem to come together. So that is our little accordion envelope added to an existing journal. Thanks guys for watching. Um, like I said, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're crafting away and I will see you all next time. Take care everyone. Bye.